in allocation of impairments of cash generating units. Step one. Determine the impairment loss. Determine the impairment loss determine the impairment loss of each cash generating unit. Step two. Step two. Determine the current amount of the assets. Determine the in the current amount of the assets of each CGU, of each cash generating unit, of each CGU, of each cash generating unit, the current amount of the assets of each CGU. Step three. Three, allocate the impairment loss, allocate the impairment loss on the basis of, allocate the impairment loss on the basis of, allocate the impairment loss on the basis of the current amounts, on the basis of the current amounts of each CGU on the basis of the current amounts of each CGU. Full stop. Example. Let's start with a simple example there. Just for example. PD Limited operates two CGUs, A and B. BD Limited operates two CGUs, A and B. So stop. The current amounts of the assets, the current amounts of the assets are as shown below. The current amounts of the assets are as shown below. CGUA, CGUB. We have inventory. Two hundred thousand, one twenty thousand. PPE. Four twenty thousand, three sixty thousand. Goodwill, twenty thousand. Dash. Then below that you write the net realizable of CGUA and CGUB, the net realizable value of CGUA and CGUB. Are at two eight thousand are two eight thousand and two fifty thousand respectively and two fifty thousand respectively. 
full stop. Then another paragraph. The two CGUs are expected to generate cash flows as follows. The two CGUs are expected to generate cash flows as follows. CGU A, CGU B, then here, one, two, three, four. A hundred thousand, eight thousand, seventy thousand, ninety thousand. Then two fifty thousand, one twenty thousand, one hundred thousand, eight thousand. Hundred thousand, eight thousand, seventy thousand, ninety thousand, two fifty, one twenty, a hundred and eight thousand. Below that, the cost of capital is ten percent. The cost of capital is ten percent. Required. Required part A, required part A, recoverable amount of each CGU, recoverable amount of each CGU, recoverable amount of each CGU. Part B, impairment loss, if any, of each CGU. Impairment loss, if any, of each CGU. Impairment loss, if any, of each CGU. Part C, allocate the impairment loss to the assets of the CGU. Allocate the impairment loss to the assets of the CGU. Solution. We start with getting the carrying amounts. Carrying amounts. CGU A is 200,000 plus 420 plus 20. That gives me, if I'm not wrong, 640. CDUB. 120 plus 360, 480. Then we get the recoverable amount. Starting and the recoverable amount, we can do them simultaneously. As the recoverable amount we said last time, it is the higher or the net realizable value and the value in use. 
Let's start by getting the value in use. Here, CGU A, CGU B, we have a discount rate, cash flow, discount rate, present value, cash flow, discount rate, present value. Yeah, cash flow, discount rate, present value, cash flow, discount rate, present value. We have four years, one, two, three, four. I'll do the one for CGU one, you do the one for CGU B. Cash flow is 200,000. Sorry, 100, sorry. 100,000, 80, 70, and 90. Discount rate is 10%. What is the discounting rate of 10%? 10% period one, nanayuti. Kama una te boss, ina kuwaka ni one plus R raised to power negative N. So it is like one plus 0 0.1 raised to power negative one. To four decimal places. Give me your answers to four decimal places. Give me your answers to four decimal places. 0 0.1991, right. 0 0.1991. Okay, finally, year two, the part here, 0 0.8264. 0 0.75, 13, and 0 0.68. They, of course, not the But I made the idea near 10 other tier of that. Okay. Okay, could cool. I confirm that you give you? Second part here, we have year 10. Look up for 0 0.6208. You just get a look. Hi, present value. So you multiply haraka haraka ya kwanza. Okay, hakikisha, and then... Uh, of course, hata hii hino takuja tu kufanya hivyo. Hata hii hino takuja tu kufanya hivyo. The rates are... But it is not always at the cost of capital of the seed user. The same. Sometimes it can be different. Ya kwanza itakuja. 1990, followed by 66, 112, followed by 52, 52, but you have a boss. 
271 okay total mean that total sasa 271 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Here, value in use net realizable value yeah cqa was Net realizable value was 280k for CUA. I do the same for CUB. Do the same for CUB. We got 250, 120, 100, 80, 0 0.1991, 0 0.264. 0 0.75 Latin, 0 0.68 Latin. Multiply, to put a total, I have to put a net realizable value. Do that. Oh, <laughs> 